The purpose of public access television and CTN5 is to give a voice to the residents of Portland and allow them to broadcast their ideas, interests, and passions. Seth Dussault has been an access producer here for about three years, and he spoke with Arthur Nichols about how he came here and what public access means to him. Tell me a little bit about why you came in. What was the impetus to, to uh, come in through the front door? Um, well, I came in after I, I went to film school for a year. And I dropped out, but I still wanted to work on video projects and film and learn, learn about it. I just didn't want to pay an extreme amount of money. You mentioned the cost, and yeah. so you, well, how did you find that at CTN? The cost? <laughs> uh, really reasonable, yeah. Very, very reasonable. Very reasonable. And what else uh, did, did you study beside field, field production? Uh, well, there's field production class and then the studio camera class, which mm -hmm. is running the cameras in the studio, which we're in now. I took an editing class just so I could use the computers here that you provide. And definitely, uh, uh, the class is just to start with that, with you know, volunteering and helping out with productions. It's much more, you learn a lot more, you know, doing, being thrown into, you know, the fire. And so we, and, we and that's, that's a, it's a big part of what uh, is great about uh, CTN, is just, you learn a lot just by doing. And it's, it's, it's really okay to make mistakes here. It's a place where you can learn and have some freedom to just either fail or make a mistake a few times. It's, yeah. not, um, it's not do or die. So all of these things that you've learned over the past couple of years, what have you been doing with it? Uh, well, I've just started to um, produce my own programs or shows with uh, friends. Okay. Uh, mostly. Including Patrick. Yeah, Patrick and uh, we yeah, did a show last night with my friends uh, Connor and Kurt who okay. started a comedy show. A comedy show. Yeah, That's and mostly cool. what I've what I've done is I've learned the technical side and how to, you know, output programming and how to tape it. And mostly I've just been trying to bring in anybody that wants a show. So they're the talent, and, yeah. and you've been working with Steve? Oh yeah, and Steve uh, Latrell in the Poets Cafe. Poets Cafe. I'm uh, directing that one and editing that one. Okay. When I first started working for the Poets Cafe, I was, I was editing something on a computer out back, and Steve, the host of the show, was pacing around because they're, they're about to shoot a show, and one of their cameramen didn't show up. So I, having nothing to do, um, volunteered to run a camera. And from there I ran a camera and then I, uh, they, he mentioned looking for an editor and I was looking for editing work, something to do, so I volunteered to edit the show. And I was being cameraman and editor for a few of the shows. And then one night, and this is how I got into directing all the shows and taking uh, the technical director class, uh, Bill Blood, who works at the station, and Steve just came up to me and asked me, pretty just point blank. They rolled up right to me and just asked me, hey, do you want to direct the show tonight? We need a director. And I didn't really have time to answer. And they were just like, yeah, you can direct. You know, we can just run the control room. It'll be easy. You're, you know, it'll be perfect. And I, <laughs> I was like, I, I immediately was like, no, I don't know how to do that at all. I don't know how to do that. But I said yes, anyway. <laughs> and uh, that show, yeah, it was awful. Displaying I did, I, courage. Right yeah, there. I guess so. I displayed courage. Um, I think I did awful that night. I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah, the next show was rolling up, and um, I did not want to direct again. I, I remember I, that, yeah, sort of on the periphery. Right. Yeah, I, well, I felt just really insecure, and I screwed up a bunch, and no one wants to put out bad work. So I told Bill... That night, uh, I, I, I didn't want to direct, and I just wanted to go back to the old process, which we won't get into it, but it was, the old process was really just long. And I was editing for, like, weeks. Getting, it was, like, three, three tapes. Yeah, um, I remember that. And he sat me down and for, like, a half an hour and convinced me otherwise. And then sat down with me and showed me how to use the board and right. what to look for yeah. and, and pretty much gave me a, a little bit more confidence. Like we looked over the show and, it, and I guess I didn't do too bad of a job that I thought. But, um, and that was, that's, 
that's what's nice about this station. You know, I, I tell people that when they come in the door, they've got to bring their own motivation right. with them. We don't do a lot of hand-holding. No. But, and, you, but we, yeah. you know, we, we do simple instruction. It's very basic instruction. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, ostensibly, you're on your own. Mm -hmm. But we try to do as much coaching as we can, yeah. given our resources. Well, if you're, um, if, you're, and, if you're motivated, a motivated person and truly want to produce something or work in video or put on a show what have you this is definitely the place to do it because they the people here are very kind nurturing and they will show you how to do things but you just need to bring the energy and mm -hmm. there's a wealth of knowledge here okay so bring it down to community television mm -hmm. at 516 congress street and uh, make a show